Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am proud to be one of the compassionate and responsible political parties in this House who will be supporting this bill tonight. Uh, I would just like to suggest to the country that you completely ignore everything you heard from um, the little fellow over there. Oh. This is a man who has no idea what it means to live in this country with an income where you cannot make sure you pay your rent, buy your food and pay your power bill. This is a man who has never lived in a house where you have had to bring all of your kids and all of your blankets, your socks and your jumpers and all sleep in the lounge room because that is the only room in the house that you know you can keep your kids warm and dry. This is a man who has never been in a home with children who have spent months and months and months sick and sick in hospital at home sick, back in hospital at home sick. Not a single experience from that young man about what it's really like to live in this country. And I challenge National to think yourselves about what you are doing tonight and refusing to support this bill. You know, National knows, there are 42,000 hospitalisations of children because of cold, damp homes. National knows there are 1,600 extra winter deaths in this country because of cold, damp homes. National knows there are 15 children who will die this year because of cold, damp homes. What will it take to convince you to act to save these lives? Why do these lives not matter to the National Party? I know they don't matter to act. He's irrelevant. Why do they not matter to National? What will it take? Do you need to go and have a sleepover in one of those homes? Do you need to sleep in a home where the beds have to be pushed into the middle of the room because the cold, wet walls make the blankets damp and mouldy? Is that what you need to do? Do you need to go to the hospital and see the kids who are sick, the babies, puffy and on ventilators? Is that what you need to see? Do they need to see the toddlers who can't play in hospital, who are lying listless on their beds because every single breath as a painful labour. Do you need to see that? Or maybe, maybe the only option for the on the other side, a national, is the invitation to the funerals. Because we are talking about, don't argue with me, miss, we are talking about New Zealanders who die because their homes, their rental homes are cold and damp. This is a piece of legislation that will save lives, and National is refusing to allow it to proceed. How could that be? That is what the consequences of National's actions are. New Zealanders will die, babies will die, because their homes are cold and damp, and National has a chance to save those lives and will not. This is the reality that you must face, because New Zealand families have to face it every single day. New Zealand families who cannot afford to make sure their homes are warm and dry, who cannot afford the power bills, who cannot afford the flash houses that perhaps National and the ACT Party members can afford, who have to choose every day between decent food and warmth for their kids. These are the realities faced by the people that you are supposed to support and be here to work for. And some of them will die this winter because you have failed to act. Sir, so I am not ashamed for one moment to put this reality on the floor of this House. It is necessary for us as legislators to be confronted by what is really happening with our families. Because that is the reality. Here is a solution right in front of us, available to us tonight, to do something real for those families whose kids and whose grandparents, whose grandfathers will suffer over this winter. So I urge members, think first about the people who need us the most. Think first about the most vulnerable who need us the most and act for them. We have the privilege, we have the power, we have the opportunity to save lives. So let's take it. Thank you, Mr Speaker.